Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to the April 5th, 2010 Washougal City Council meeting. I would ask that you all please rise and join in our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Stevenson, could you call the roll call, please? Yes. Uh, Councilmember Coaston. Here. Councilmember Shoemaker. Here. Councilmember McDaniel. Here. Councilmember Del Delavar. Councilmember Greenlee. Here. Councilmember Morris. Here. Councilmember Russell. Here. I did get a message from Councilman Delavar that he is out of town unexpectedly this evening and would ask for him to be excused. So move. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Um, amendments to the agenda. I have one item in executive session dealing with personnel that I would like to place at the end of the agenda this evening. Are there any other amendments to the agenda? Mr. Stevenson, do we have any correspondence? No we, do. no, we do not. Okay. We are at that point in the agenda already where we have time for council comments or comments from the public for the council. I would ask that you come up to the, uh, the podium, give your name, address, and please try and limit your comments to three minutes. Mr. Olson. Uh. Harvey Olson, 3903 R Street. Council members, hi. Mayor Guard, I wish to thank you personally, and I think a whole bunch of citizens want to thank you for shining a light on questionable practices that were happening in Washougal prior to your election. Uh, the follow-up by the sheriff's detectives that's ongoing now could be an eye-opener. And the three council members that are here tonight that will follow up to ensure that proper and legal fiscal policies be implemented. I thank you very much for your time and your uh, expertise, and I hope it works out well. Uh, also, I wish to uh, state that the governor has signed the two laws that uh, deal with police and fire. Uh, they did, she did it up where the uh, policemen were shot in the coffee shop and uh, she had a tear in her eye and, and rightfully so. And it's well done. And I wish again to thank all of you council members for any phone calls that you made or literature that you sent up, comments, etc. On the <coughs> resolution, amending resolution 926, if I had a vote, I'd sure vote for it in a heartbeat. Now, on the subject of fees, taxes, and other costs related to business owners, anything that has to do with uh, business. If any council member here has never bought a per, uh, an existing business or started a business and has made money doing so, I wish to suggest a challenge to each and every one of you that do not qualify for those criterion. And that is setting up a dummy corporation, business, or whatever, Pick a type in your head, uh, the location, cost to start up, how much you have to have in reserve, et cetera, et cetera. It's quite a long process. I know this because my brother and I did purchase an existing business in Seattle. We had it for six years. We employed one full-time, one part-time, and we hired a CPA to do all the book work. We did make a profit at the end of the six years. Uh, I sold it because I'd gotten married and my wife decided that I needed to stay home more often. I also started a business from scratch, 
had it for four years, successful, made money at it, and closed it down when I retired. Uh, if you uh, get everything figured out in your head, then go to the city, apply for all required forms uh, and other paperwork required uh, permits, fees you would have to pay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a long list. And it's worse now than when I was in business, much worse. How long, uh, how long does it take? How complicated is it going to be? How much of your time will be required? The reason I'm bringing this up is Washington, D.C. feels that the cash cow is business. The state of Washington feels the cash cow is business. And I'm afraid it's running downhill to all the cities and all the counties that they say, oh my goodness, we need more money. Let's tax, tax business. And uh, <laughs> I'm afraid that if you uh, tax business too much, you're going to have fewer and fewer businesses. And Portland is a prime example of what's going on in that area right now. I'm going to shorten this up a little bit, and I'm just going to end by saying being in business is not all roses. There are many thorns that scratch and draw blood, and as council members try to avoid putting more thorns so that business people bleed less. And I thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Olson. Any other members of the public that would like to address the council? I'm Elizabeth Stiles, um, a business owner, downtown Washougal, 1700 Main Street, Suite 204. I'm also a, a close resident, just outside the city limits, up on Woodburn Hill. I'm here on behalf of myself, and several other small business owners who feel that making the changes to your referendum will pro possibly hurt us. I mean, Washougal downtown core isn't moving yet. We're beginning to move. I know for a fact that there's a new business coming into the Washougal town square that is signed, sealed, and in the makings right now. And it's going to be another restaurant, which uh, will bring people to downtown. But before you make your vote tonight, I want you to really consider those of us who are the quiet majority. I know there's Dr. Martin here and myself, and there's other people downtown here who feel that we would be hurt if you changed your zoning. Thank you, Liz. Any other members of the public? Barbara. I'd just like to let people know I've had some computer issues and they're still ongoing, but I would like people to know that people here are helping me to work with the 